MTRCB o Mixena, taluang programa sinuspinde ang kaganapan tingnan ng mga detalye. Nag-issue ang MTRCB ng preventive suspension para sa dalawang programa ng SMNI. Ito ay para sa gikan sa masa, para sa masa at laban kasama ang bayan. Epektibo ito umpisa December 18. Narito pa ang bahagi ng statement ng MTRCB kaugnay sa naturang preventive suspension itong nakarang December 19 Martes ng umaga. Ayon sa bahagi ng pahayag, This decision is a result of a thorough review and investigation into alleged violations related to content aired on these shows. The MTRCB received multiple complaints regarding an alleged death threat made by a guest on 10 October 2023 episode of Gikan sa Masa para sa Masa. After a preliminary conference on November 8, 2023, SMN and I committed to pre-recording and reviewing episodes having been warned by the board that similar incidents will be dealt with more sternly. On November 30, 2023, The board received a complaint about unverified news broadcasted on Laban Kasama Ang Bayan related to the purported expenditure of 1.8 billion pesos in travel funds by House Speaker Martin Romualdez. Following a notice issued to SMNI, a hearing and adjudication committee meeting was held on December 7, 2023. Upon careful review and consideration of recent events and complaints received by the board, it was found that certain aspects of the above-mentioned program may have violated the established guidelines and standards set by Presidential Decree No. 1986 and its implementing rules and regulations governing broadcasting content to prevent the possible repetition of these alleged infractions which may pose a negative impact on public welfare, ethical considerations, and the overall reputations of the broadcasting industry, the board determined that the need to prevented suspend the subject programs by virtue of Section 3, Chapter 13 of the IIR of PD No. 1986. During the December 13, 2023 board meeting, a unanimous decision was reached to impose a 14-day preventive suspension on Laban Kasama Ang Bayan in a majority vote for Gikan Samasa para Samasa. The decision aligns with the power granted to MTRCB by Presidential Decree No. 1986, ensuring television programs adhere to contemporary Filipino cultural values. Ipinaliwanag ng MTRCB ang legal basis ng preventive na sabing suspensyon. Dagdag pa nila, the MTRCB cites Section 3 of Presidential Decree No. 1986 empowering the board to approve or disapprove television programs that may be objectionable including those undermining faith in the government or authorities and being libelous of the firmatory. Moreover, Section 3, Chapter 13 of the Implementing Rules and Regulations allows the chairman of the board to issue preventive suspension order to prevent further violations or protect the interests and welfare of the public. The decision supports the legal precedent set by Soriano v. LaGuardia et al. where the Supreme Court affirmed the MTRCB's authority to issue preventive suspension as part of its regulatory and supervisory mandate. The MTRCB emphasizes that the said order of preventive suspension is a proactive measure aimed at addressing concerns and ensuring compliance with established standards which shall be in effect to for 14 days during which SMNI is expected to address and rectify the N95 issue. Ano yung komento kaugnay dito? Shoutout tayo kay Neslak Shak Masinda de Miguel, kay Tiburcio Senarpida at kay Gloria Tortuga. I-comment mo lang ang inyong opinion sa comment section at huwag kalimutang i-like, i-follow, i-subscribe ang bcgram.net para sa mga latest happenings.